Hello there, Mr. Sutton here bringing you the IM375 Extra Practice Number 2 Solutions on Triangle Area. To find the area of this triangle, since they gave us two sides and the angle between them, we'll use the half sine formula, 1 half AB sine C. So that's 1 half, and we'll have 23 times the B value 20, and A and B are interchangeable here. And then we'll multiply by the sine of that angle, 43. And now we need the calculator. So plugging all that in, it looks like we end up with about 156.9, if I round that off, to the nearest tenth. To find the area of this triangle, since we have all three sides, we have to use Heron's formula. So we'll start with our semi-perimeter, 1 half A plus B plus C, equaling S. So that's going to be a 1 half of, we'll say, 20 plus 34 plus 35. And let's use the calculator to see what that comes out to exactly. So pressing enter on that, we have a, an S value of 44.5. And now I need to plug that into the K formula part of this. That's the square root with all the S's and sides in it. So we have the square root of 44.5 for S, and then 44.5 minus 20, minus 34, and minus 35. And now the calculator takes over again. So plugging all that in off camera and pressing enter, we get about 329.8. For this triangle area problem, since I have two sides with the angle between them, I'm going to use my half sine formula, 1 half AB sine C. So that's 1 half times one of the sides, 17, times 36.6, times the sine of the angle between them, 68. And let's plug that in the calculator. So plugging all that in, we press enter, and that comes out to 288.4. On this problem, since they gave me all three sides and they want the area, I use Heron's formula. Let's start by finding S, the semi-perimeter, which is just half of A plus B plus C. So we say uh, one half of 44 plus 26 plus 26. And let me think here. Uh, I can just do this without a calculator. So we've got, let's see, that's 70 plus 26 is 96, so half of 96 is 48. All right, so this next part's going to need a calculator, but let's write it out first. We have our K formula, the square root of S and S minus A and S minus B and S minus C. So that's the square root of 48, and we have 48 minus 44, 48 minus 26, and another 48 minus 26. So I guess you could have just squared that thing. Let's go to the calculator now. So letting the calculator crunch all those numbers down there, pressing enter, we get 304.8. For this one, since I've got two sides and the angle between them and I want the area, I'll use my half sine formula, 1 half AB sine C. So that's going to be 1 half times 35 times 22.6 times the angle sine in there, so sine of 98. And now let's use that calculator. So plugging that in and pressing enter, we get about 391.7. For this one, we've got all three sides, and we want the area of the triangle. So Heron's formula it is. We have a S equals 1 half A plus B plus C. That gives us the semi-perimeter, which we will then plug into another formula. So this is 1 half times 45 plus 17.8 plus 33 although it doesn't really matter what order we add those in. Let me use the calculator for this part. So entering that and pressing enter, we get an S value of 47.9. So now our K formula that actually gives us the area, uh, that again is going to be the square root of S and S minus all three sides multiplied together. So we've got square root of 47.9, and then 47.9 minus 45, and then we're going to be subtracting 17.8, and 33 from 47.9. And now it's time to let the calculator work its magic. So plugging all of that in and pressing enter, we get, let's see here, this is 249.6 if I round to the nearest tenth.